Hey, wing addicts. What's going on at your pal Tommy? Tommy, the cleaner wing chef Ryan. And we are in Watertown and we're outside. It's just so beautiful out here today. We decided to bring back a little wings on the hood. On the hood. On the hood. And here we are today at Big Frank's Barbecue. If you live anywhere around Waterbury and Watertown, you've probably seen this place. You've probably been here. It's been a barbecue joint for ages. But guess what? Just three years ago, it got taken over by some new ownership. Adjula and her husband, Alton, purchased this place three years ago. And they've just carried on the tradition. Same great flavor. Same great atmosphere. And um, same great wings. I'll tell you what. These look legit. We yeah. broke a wing addict's rule today. We didn't just get wings. What, what, what else is in there, Rye? We also got, got some ribs. We had to. Some ribs. Oh, oh. baby backs. It came with cornbread. We'll tear those down off camera. I mean, if you were in there and you saw, like, basically right in the back of the kitchen where they got their fryers and everything set up, right behind them are these huge metal cabinets. And they're not to a fridge. They're to their gigantic smoker, smoker. that's sitting off the back of the building. Their smoker is about this wide. Yeah, huge. <laughs> and, you know, they smoke all their wings first. They wouldn't disclose what they use their smoke for. So for three hours. Secret flavor. Three hours three slow hour smoke. Slow smoke. Then fry them. But they do a signature uh, seasoning on them before they smoke them. So all these wings just look crispy, tender, juicy. And, oh, my God. Dude, what did you see so on that menu good. besides wings? Everything. <laughs> a lot of other stuff. Hot Stairs, dogs, chicken. Burgers, mac and cheese. <laughs> uh, rice. Brisket. Beans, there's everything in here. St. Louis ribs, baby back ribs. There was, you can get a quarter chicken, a half chicken, or a whole chicken smoked. I mean, they even have a salsa sign that says famous clam chowder. I mean, if we were the chowder addicts, I'd definitely try to yeah. chowder. But, but, but what do we do? We eat, eat wings. Wings up. And I'm dying to eat these, man. Let's, let's, let's just go. Smash Where are we starting? All right, pick, let's pick, start, 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 start here. Barbecue. Sp spicy barbecue? Spicy barbecue. Spicy barbecue. Oh, there it goes. Wings up. Wings up. Ryan. Ah, wings this kid over here. Not wings up. <laughs> no, we didn't go through all the flavors, okay. but yeah. Spicy barbecue. Sweet chili. Teriyaki. Garlic parmesan. Mild hot. And hot buffalo. So yeah, that's right. We got two buffalo today. All sauces made in house. Signature rub. Oh my god, cartilage tastes like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's legit, dude. That is a flavorful smoker. Woo! I even had the Jeep detailed for this adventure. It's nice and clean. I have to do it again when I get home. <laughs> yep. The grill is going to be all messed up. I, you know what? I like that <laughs> spicy barbecue. I can feel the, yeah. the sting in my mouth right now. It's lovely. It is. It's a nice, slow little burn. Mm. Okay. Everything just cleans right off. Garlic. What's a garlic parm, huh? Wings up. Wow, look at that. Ding, ding. Look at that garlic it smells parm. smells like chicken parmesan. Look at the stuff on there. So crispy. Now, I think this is our first having a garlic parm on a smoked wing. Dang. Well, that right. adds a whole different flavor. That's a whole different ballgame. Man, is there a lot of garlic on that. Oh, man. That's nice. They have a garlic, garlic butter. Yeah, that's a, that's a, yeah, that's a dry, it's got like a butt, yeah. Like a butter rub. It's so juicy. At least I'll tell you what, these wings are, no, these are soaked in butter. <laughs> yeah. they, they, they live in butter. They were born in butter. Raised in butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the rules of French cooking. Start with butter, then add butter, then finish it with butter. Sweet chili? Sweet chili. Sweet little umbrella for the cleaner. Yep. Going umbrella. So sunny out, but he still wants his umbrella. Ding, Mary ding. Poppins. Donnie Poppins. Umbrella style. <laughs> Mm. Like a pro. Mm, guys, I'm having flashbacks right now. The sun is shining and the birds are chirping. Not these birds. So nice to be outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, these are. That's a decent flavor. That's a nice sweet chili. It is a good sweet chili. No doubt. Yeah. All, their, all their sauces are made in house. And what's that one in the middle? Here we go. Let's try it. It's juicy and sticky looking. A lot of sauce on this boy. Roll that. Roll that beautiful wing. <laughs> Not gonna say footage. Mm. And just so everybody knows, a syrup. no buffaloes were harmed in the making of this. No. Salty. Mmm. Mm. Syrupy, a syrupy. Oh, I can drink that. Mm. Oh my god, all the time. I'll tell you what. So whatever they're teriyaki. whatever they're putting on it beforehand is definitely kicking that teriyaki up and out. Just that salty, smoky flavor that you get before it's even in the teriyaki, where you get that little bit of sweet. Mm. Let me smell that. Wow, these are going right down, boys. They're going right down. A little mild. Excuse my reach. Coming to the mild buffalo. Mild buffalo. Hey. This is one that was recommended. Hmm. One of the blutteriest buffaloes. Okay. It is buttery. It's not that buffalo y though. Not as much vinegar or actual heat on there. Very buttery. Mm, I'm a god buttery. Holy crap. That's nice. Hmm. I would like a little bit more spice. It's more, a little more heat. But it is mild. Buffalo. We do have the hot buffalo, so we're gonna see the difference between those two. Right. They have a mild, they have a, a medium of the road, and then they also have a hot. Okay, let's get hot. That was legit. This is the hot? It's hot. I only have this little. Oh, thank you. I was gonna swim it a little bit. All right, turn it. Yeah, a little extra. A little extra. So now, this one you do get a little more of that vinegar. A little more bath water on that one. Salty too, more of like a briny kind of hot sauce, which I'm actually kind of enjoying. Hmm. Mm. Now we got the heat. Yeah. you blindfold taste tested me on those last two, I wouldn't even have said they're buffalo wings. No. Well, it's not really a traditional buffalo flavor that you expect. There's a lot more vinegar on that. Don't Stiff. call that like a butter hot? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even know. I would be stumped. I mean, it's that different than a regular buffalo that you just don't really have any words. Mm. Now, we do have a signature sauce here. We didn't get it on a wing, but I'm gonna definitely go ahead and get one of these spicy barbecues into the golden Carolina barbecue. I'm gonna steal. Like a trophy. Oh. Yeah. Excuse. I'm gonna take one of those buffaloes that I didn't fall madly in love with. That mustard. Oh my god. Yeah? Boom. Yeah. That's a flavor. Mm-hmm. I mean, any barbecue joint you go to. They got a Golden Carolina barbecue. Got it. You got to give it a shot. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's just shy of amazing. Always been one of my favorite barbecues. I remember the first time I got one, these guys tried it, they were blown away. Now every time it's on the menu, it's usually one of the ones we go for. No <laughs> I'll doubt. Tell you what, my garlic's going in the Carolina. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab these ribs. In my mind, I'm going to Carolina. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Yes. <laughs> it's first on wing addicts. Diving into some, some ribs. Which one was your favorite? I'm going to say that spicy barbecue. But maybe it would have been the Carolina barbecue if we got a set of those. I think it would have been. Right. Everything here is just like, like off the bone. I could pull these bones out. No, so, 
so many so many great wing joints oh, in the Watertown area. It. It's just walking up. Watertown Watertown ranks right up there with uh, mm -hmm. Naugatuck and Southington as like a wing mm -hmm. capital of the, of the of the state. Sorry, smoky. And it took us a long time to get here, uh, but we're here. Big Franks, uh, Watertown Avenue, right there, right next door to Frank, the famous Frankie's hot dog joint. Different Frank. This Frank is big, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he has a smoker. <laughs> yeah, and we are doing everything right with that big smoker. That thing yeah. is. If you've been to if you've been to Frank's and you like it, comment on there. If you haven't been in a while, come back. It's the same new ownership, but same great flavor, same great barbecue. And you know what? If you're anything like me, I came here a million times and I never ordered wings once because I always go to a barbecue joint and eat the other things. Come have ribs. I mean, come have ribs. I'm looking at this clown eating the ribs over here. And the funny thing is, come you know, get right wings. Now, it's getting nice out. It's getting hot. You got that nice barbecue flavor that you want to have. This is the place to be. Amen. Heck yeah. Because you know why? So many wings. So little, little, little time. time. Wings, wings up, up everybody. everybody. Wings up. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I have a rib before they're gone?